<laughs> Hi everyone, it's Sensei Victoria Whitfield here, your spiritual guide and traveling partner on the path to rapid financial ascension and massive impact as a conscious entrepreneur. Welcome back to another installment of your weekly love letter from the dojo at naturalintuition.com and my blog, victoriawhitfield.com. These are your sources for channeled holistic stress management techniques, guidance, inspiration, and motivation to keeping your glow as you grow in life and business. Whether you are looking to improve the quality of your personal or professional life, let this love letter be your reminder that you're not alone and that together we can make that happen. Go to naturalintuition.com and click on the contact button to find out more about how we can work together. This is week two of four in our exploration of releasing faking it, right? This is your time. This is your time, finally, maybe for the first time, to release this pattern of faking it till you make it so that you can have authentic momentum, authentic growth, and authentic success, right? Whether it's in your personal or professional life. So if you didn't see part one, hit pause, go back on my blog at victoriawhitfield.com, click on part one and start from there so that you are grounded in this clearing process that we're going through over the next four weeks. So the topic that my guides have asked us to cover this week in particular is the two types of people that you're going to encounter in all of life, but especially when you decide to stop faking it. Two types of people in life. Um, now, be kind to yourself. We've all been either type at any given point in time in our lives, but especially when you decide to live a life that, you know, I'm not gonna fake it anymore. I'm not going to be little Miss or Mr. Perfect. I'm not going to hold back. I'm gonna be all in. Your type shifts. So two types, ready? You ready to write it down? Get your notepad. <laughs> It's people who value clarity and people who value comfort. There are two types of people in life. There are those who are valuing and seeking clarity and those who are valuing and seeking comfort in all things. Now this is super important because as you make the decision to stop faking it, you are moving from one paradigm where you are valuing and seeking comfort in all the decisions and actions that you make, and you are stepping over into a whole nother paradigm where you are valuing and seeking clarity in all the decisions and actions that you make and take throughout your life and in your business. Now, this is a tall order. <laughs> you know, it, last week we were already talking about, oh, gonna stop faking it, it's time, let's go, let's go. But now on top of that, your orientation, your alignment shifts, right? If you've been wondering why you're having such a hard time living authentically or stopping faking it or stopping to put on the show, it's because this is an alignment issue. Are you aligned with comfort and seeking that? Or are you aligned with clarity and seeking that, right? If you don't know where you are aligned, look at the decisions that you already have made, right? Hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. So as you look back at the decisions that you made, maybe it could be a mixed bag. I'll be honest, I have a bit of a mixed bag of decisions as I look over my shoulder too, right? I'm certainly not perfect. There are some choices that are, especially when it comes to food, that <gasps> sometimes I'm deciding I would like to seek comfort right now <laughs> and I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> by going to the gym, right? Or making sure that I'm 
shifting my my eating back or well there's going to be digestive issues if I'm basing my decision on comfort to eat something very you know fatty or full of dairy or wheat and all of that I'm going to have consequences I'm going to have consequences of that decision whereas if I make the decision you know continuing to put this all on me <laughs> If I make the decision to choose food that is clarifying, that gives me clarity, that when I eat it, I don't feel tired afterwards, but instead I feel energized afterwards, not because it's artificial, but because it's alive, right? And living food brings your body alive. I know it does for me, brings my body alive. So there's also going to be consequences to that. There's consequences on both sides. So, if only just for today, you've got to choose, you and I both, we have got to choose where are we aligning ourselves. Being the type of person who seeks and cultivates clarity and values uh, clarity all the time, or those who seek and cultivate and value comfort. By the way, and we're going to get a little bit more into this in the coming weeks, but as I hear the oracle cards, I hear you, I hear you, calling in the energy. Be kind to yourself if there are people around you who really value comfort, but you, you for whatever reason, as a conscious person, a conscious entrepreneur, you really value clarity, and you're lording over them, expecting them to be a clarity-oriented person. This is suffering, right? Expecting that from people who just aren't aligned with that same value is going to cause you a lot of suffering, it's going to drain a lot of energy from you. So this week in particular, I just want you to be a little bit more vigilant first of yourself of, am I being someone with this decision, this action that I'm taking, or you could even, in my case, because this is my journey right now around food, am I eating this because I'm seeking comfort or I'm seeking clarity? What am I creating with this decision? You know, for you, it might be something else with this business decision, right? Or this investment that I'm making right now. Am I going for comfort or as I'm investing right now or considering investing, is this something that's going to increase my comfort or my clarity, right? It's up to you. Okay, let's get to it. So the Oracle cards all month are Healing with the Fairies by Doreen Virtue. So let's ask them. Fairies, what do we need to know right now about the two types of people that are out there, right? And these value alignments and such. Problem resolved. Problem resolved. Check it out. And she's even got a snake of wisdom right there wrapped around her, speaking in her ear. Shedding skin, one of my spirit guides just said, just shedding layers uh, of what you used to be, the smaller you. We're shedding layers of what we used to be. So this is so powerful and where we'll leave off for the week. This alignment issue is what's going to accelerate your progress. The more that you become aware of Clarity versus comfort in the decisions that you are making. This will put you on the path to resolving the problems, the challenges that you've been facing. Choosing that clarity, if you dare, <laughs> over comfort. So sending you so much love around that. I'm, I'm your traveling partner <laughs> on this journey. So send me an email back, comment below, let me know what's coming up for you around this. And if you need more support around 
choosing clarity and aligning with clarity and releasing that addiction to comfort, go ahead on over to naturalintuition.com. Click the contact button. Hop on my calendar and let's see about getting you supported, right, and working together. So with that, that's it for this week's episode. Wah, thank you so much for tuning in and watching the love letters. It's been eight years. Eight years. Thank you so much for all of your support. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye for now.